Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can tell, I have new hair. Um, I decided to go more brunette. I have been wanting to go darker for a little while now, but I don't know, like I feel like I've been building up the courage to like do it. And then I just decided, let's just go ahead and do it. So um, I hope that you guys do enjoy today's video. It's just gonna be on this makeup look. And I use the Alter Ego Sahara palette today. So I feel like this look is a good holiday look. I feel like this would have been perfect perfect for Thanksgiving so I'm sorry that this video is going up after Thanksgiving and I hope that you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I think this would also be a great look for just like a Christmas party. If you guys would like to see how to do this and just listen to me chat then just keep on watching. I feel like it is so hard for me to get used to my hair on camera and I know that this color will fade a little bit because it's like when you first get your hair dyed it's like extra dark and I feel like it looks like black on a little viewfinder but it's definitely not black. Um, I think she said that she used a level five and like a level or maybe a level six and a level five. I don't know if that's right. I'd have to look it up, but it's really not as dark as it appears. I mean, it's a brown, but it's not black. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this Get Ready With Me. And I think for my eyes today, I'm gonna use the Alter Ego Sahara palette because I have yet to use this in a video. And I've had this palette for a little while now. I haven't used it a whole lot, but I have used it here and there. And I do really like a lot of the shades in here. I think this is a really beautiful palette for this time of year. Like, I know we're past Thanksgiving, for me, it's not Thanksgiving yet. Like, this is going to be the week of Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, like, now we're starting to head into the Christmas season. But yeah, I think this palette's really pretty. And I love the Alter Ego palettes. I think they're really great quality. We're going to go ahead and jump in. And I'm just having my coffee as I get ready. Isn't this mug, like, the cutest? I did not realize that Turbis made, like, these mugs. And you all know, or at least if you watch my videos, whenever I show you guys the cup I'm using for my coffee, it's usually these Turvis cups. And this is just so perfect that it's like a little coffee thing. And it says, donut worry, be happy. <laughs> and then it's got like little donuts all over it. I don't know. I just think it's adorable. Okay, so now finally onto the makeup. So I'm gonna do my eyes first today, and I'm sorry, I feel like I have like leftover makeup on my face from last night. <laughs> I didn't wash my face good enough. And this is just like second day hair for me. Yesterday was when I got it dyed, and then my hairstylist, she styled it for me, so we are gonna be rocking second day hair today. It's like whenever you get your hair dyed, you're supposed to wait at least 24 hours before you wash it, just to give your hair cuticle time to like close up. That way you won't lose too much of the color. Like it'll help keep your color better. So I'm just blending out that Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm not for sure exactly what I'm gonna do but we will we'll see normally I use either camel or plains in my crease one of those two shades um, I think I think I'm gonna start out with camel which is this shade here and then I'm just gonna use my morphe m441 brush 441 zoom you guys in a little bit and I'm just gonna blend camel in my crease. It's like now that my hair is darker, I kind of want to go back and get my lashes tinted. I don't know if you guys remember last year. It was like around this time last year, I went and got my lash, I got a lash lift and tint. And I mean, I really liked the way that that looked on my lashes and I feel like now that my hair is darker, it would look even better. But the only thing about that whole process is the tint only lasts about, I don't know, 
a month or two like it doesn't last forever the lash lift did last me I think about three months whenever I got that done but I will say that getting a lash lift makes it incredibly difficult to put false lashes on <laughs> but yeah I don't know I think I would do it again I think I get a lash lift I would definitely get a tint again for sure and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of planes the shade over here and I'm gonna blend that kind of more in my upper crease And with the mattes in this palette, I don't have too much fallout, but it's like the shimmers and like the glittery shimmer shades that I do have fallout with when I first apply it. So that is why I'm doing my eyeshadow first this morning, because I'm definitely going to use probably one of the shades that has like the glitter in it. I'm debating on if I want to do my outer V color first or if I want to do the shimmery color first. I think I'm going to do the shimmery color and I'm going to use Mirage. I think this is the one that's like more of like the glittery kind of shade that does have fallout. I'm just going to use my Jane Ardell Deluxe Shader Brush and I'm just going to pack that color all over my eyelid. This is a really beautiful color. And I might go back with some makeup setting spray just to really like lock it on and to make it really intense. But first, I'm just gonna apply it like that. And I can't remember which of the Natasha Denona palettes this Sahara palette is supposed to be duping. I don't have the Natasha Denona to tell you if it's a dupe or not, but I do really like the colors in the Sahara palette, especially if you like more warm colors. Okay, now I'm going to go back. I packed some more of that color on this brush and I'm just gonna mist it with a makeup setting spray. I was just using my Anastasia Dewy set and I'm just gonna really pack that color on. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Then I think for the outer V, I'm going to try this color Sahara, or it's not Sahara, it's Sierra. <laughs> and I'm just patting that on like the last third of my eyelid with my Sigma E25 blending. Gonna pat it on first. Do that to the other side. Like, I felt like this look would be so pretty for Thanksgiving, so I'm sorry that I'm probably not gonna get this up before Thanksgiving, but I think this would still be a really pretty, like, holiday look. Because I feel like cranberry looks are still pretty, like, for Christmas parties. It's, like, something different than just, like, the basic gold. Gold and, like, bronze eye for Christmas. It's not like I just said bonza. <laughs> and then I'm just going back and adding a little bit more of that Sierra color. And just blending it into the outer V. Now I am getting some fallout with that shade. So I guess with the darker shades, some of them do have fallout. I had never used this color before, so 
Definitely would recommend with this palette to do your eyes first. Then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Raven and I might actually grab a little bit of Meza, which is the matte black, because I just want to deepen this up just a little bit. Kind of just mix in Meza and Raven together. Mesa, I guess. That's how you pronounce the black color. And I might grab a different brush. My Morphe M506. I just like this brush because it is more precise. You can really just get into the outer V and like just focus that color where it doesn't blow out so much. And I'm gonna go um, with my Vera Mona color switch. I'm just gonna wipe off that Sigma E25 since I had mixed Raven and Mesa on that brush. Cause I'm gonna get a little bit more of Sierra and blend around the edges of that because I feel like I lost a little bit of that cranberry color. Yeah, I'm definitely getting major fallout. So definitely keep that in mind. It doesn't bother me if a palette has fallout as long as after I get the eyeshadows on and everything, they look good because it's like, you can just clean that up before you do your foundation and it's fine. So I'm just gonna grab a makeup remover wipe and just wipe away the fallout. And I can definitely see like little bits of glitter on my face from the glittery shade that I used on the lid. So yeah, you definitely want to do your foundation after. I know I feel like I just keep saying that, but. <laughs> so I went ahead and did my skincare off camera and then I also primed my face with my Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed Hydrating Primer. So now for my foundation, I was looking at my foundation collection and trying to figure out what foundation I wanted to use today, but I think I'm going to use this Lancome Tint Idol Ultra, Ultra Wear Foundation. This is one of my favorites and I feel like I rarely use it on camera and I feel like this time of the year it kind of gets a, like a half a shade too dark for me. So if it is a little too dark for me today, I'll just kind of blend it down my neck and like bronze up a little bit. But I really like this foundation because it is a long wearing foundation, but I feel like it looks really natural on the skin. So, and the shade that I have in this is in 210 Buff In, I think. So <laughs> I'm just gonna use my dampened Wet n Wild Makeup Sponge to blend this foundation in. But yeah, this is definitely one of my very favorite high end foundations. Probably next to this one, I like the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now the Double Wear is definitely a lot more full coverage than this Tint Idol Ultra Wear. But I think for me, I tend to wear this Tint Idol Ultra Wear foundation in the summer the most. Just because since it is, it can be a touch too dark for me in the winter. It tends to match me better in the summer and I just like how it looks a little bit more lightweight on the skin for summertime. It's like a good everyday type of foundation. So, but I hope, like I said, this week for me is, today is Sunday and this is like, you know, the week of Thanksgiving. So Thursday is gonna be Thanksgiving of this week. Um. Yeah, I don't know if that just made sense, but you guys know what I mean. But I hope that you all had a great Thanksgiving. And, like, what do you guys do for Thanksgiving? Like, for us, we have a pretty low-key Thanksgiving. Like, my mom just cooked some food. And I think this year, I'm going to make a pumpkin pie. So, I'll probably go over there. A little bit earlier in the day and help her 
because I'm gonna be off on Thanksgiving this year. So a lot of the times I would work on Thanksgiving working at Amazon, but now at my new job where I'm at, we're not, we don't work on Thanksgiving. And normally we don't work on Black Friday, but at my job we have to do this thing, it's called holiday help. And I am going to be helping for that, even though like technically we don't have to work that day, we could do holiday help on another day, but it kind of counts for double on Black Friday. But I'll be working four hours on Black Friday, so that won't be bad at all. So I'm really looking forward, but yeah, like I said, so for our Thanksgiving, mom just cooks and it's just like me, mom, um, dad, my brother, and his wife. But this year, it's just going to be my brother because his wife can't make it this year because they live in Canada and like Thanksgiving isn't, I mean, they have a Thanksgiving, but it's in October. I think it's October 1st or 2nd. So it's a little different for, for them. So I think she has to work or something. So she's not going to be coming, but my brother's going to be coming. He's going to be there. Of course, Josh will be there, my boyfriend, and maybe his mom, depending on if she has to work or not. But yeah, our Thanksgivings are pretty chill and just low key. So I'm really looking forward to Thanksgiving. It's one of my very favorite holidays. All right, and then for my concealer, I'm just going to use my Revlon Candid, and I use the shade Vanilla. But yeah, my brother, I, there's only me and my brother, like there's just two of us, so that he's my only sibling, my brother and I. Um, but yeah, neither one of us have kids, so it's another reason why our Thanksgivings are pretty chill. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll probably just obviously eat a bunch of food and relax, and sometimes we'll play different games. So kind of want to go and maybe get some games for us to play this year but sometimes I feel like I'm like oh we're gonna play games and then we just eat a bunch of food and get lazy and just lay around <laughs> so but I hope that you guys had a bunch of yummy food and just enjoyed Thanksgiving with your families like what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish let me know down in the comments but my favorite thing, I mean, obviously I love everything, but my favorite thing that my mom makes is this sweet potato casserole. It is so, so good. And it's not one of those casseroles where it has the marshmallows on top. Cause I know like some people, when they do the sweet potato casserole, they'll put the marshmallows, but she does like these candied, like I think pecans or something like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pecans on top and it is so good <laughs> so and it also makes for really great leftovers later so that is definitely my favorite dish I mean of course I love stuffing and the turkey and you know mashed potatoes she's gonna make a green bean casserole this year which normally we don't do I think usually she just does green beans so that's gonna be something different this year But I'm just adding a little bit more coverage like around my mouth. I feel like recently it's like I need more coverage around my mouth for some reason. But yeah, I love this candid concealer. I feel like it's just, it's a really good concealer because it's not like too full on full coverage. It just has the right amount of coverage for me. It's not too thick and it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. So I just love it. So now I'm just going to set my under eyes with my Becca under eye setting powder. Yeah, it's going to take me a hot minute to kind of get used to my hair being this dark. Like I said, it looks extra dark on camera and also too it's because I haven't washed it since I had it dyed. So it just looks extra dark right now. And I'm just using my Real Techniques setting brush to pat that Becca powder underneath my eyes and I know it's like super basic too but another thing that I love at Thanksgiving is just like my mom makes like these yeast rows I mean she doesn't make them from scratch like she buys them I think it's like Miss Schubert 
is the brand, but they are so good with butter. Oh my gosh, I swear I could just eat those. <laughs> Okay, and I don't have the powder I want to use today. Like, I need to buy a second L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. Oops, sorry. Um, because yesterday I put it in my coat pocket and my coat is not in this room and I don't feel like getting up to get it. So, I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. Which, this isn't a bronzer. This is definitely like a highlight like a really natural highlight but you can also use it as a setting powder so i'm just gonna use that to set my face today <laughs> and i'm just using my elf powder brush but yeah like my face is a little bit broken out over here and i think it's because yesterday when my hairstylist was dying my hair some of the dye kind of got on my face over there and I feel like it kind of irritated my skin. I mean, it makes sense though because dye is a harsh chemical, so. So I went ahead and filled in my brows off camera and I'll link down below what I used. And then for my bronzer slash contour, I'm gonna use my NYX blush in the color taupe. And then I'm just gonna use this Wet n Wild contour brush this was from their holiday collection. I used this in, I think, the last Get Ready With Me that I posted last week. And I'm just gonna just lightly contour. I let the cats out this morning before I started filming and like right now the sun hasn't come up like it's 7 12 the sun should start coming up soon um I think the sun starts coming up like around 7 30 now but it always makes me so nervous letting them out when it's still dark outside because I'm afraid <laughs> that something's gonna happen to them like I'm such an overprotective mom like cat mom <laughs> Um, now I'm just using this Wet n Wild, I think this is the powder brush from that holiday collection and I'm just going to use this to like bronze up. But I just get so paranoid because we live close to a ro like close to the road and our road is kind of a busy road and so it makes me nervous but they normally don't go in the front yard, they always stay like in our backyard because even though like we technically don't have like a lot of land like our neighbors behind us have like a big field and a horse and then kind of like adjacent to where we live there's a graveyard back there <laughs> um so a lot of times like Salem and Pepper they either go in that field where the horse is or they go in the graveyard and play and I'm like totally okay with that or sometimes they're just like in our backyard but our backyard there's really not much going on because it's just like you know like opened and there's not you know really trees or anything over in the graveyard by the fence line there's like chipmunks that live there so kind of keeps them entertained but I always get so nervous when I let let them out this early because I'm scared something's gonna happen to them but like Salem cries all week long to go outside in the mornings but Josh and I we leave early to go to work and I can't like be letting him out and then trying to like chase him down before I go to work so it's like on the weekends I feel like I have to like let them out so they can have their time to play okay now we're gonna do blush and I'm not for sure what blush I want to do so let me think about it. I feel like I use this blush a lot on camera. This is the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine, but I really enjoy this blush. That or another blush that I really like, which I don't see it right now. But I think today I might bust out a blush that I haven't used in quite some time, but this is the CoverGirl <clears throat> Soft Mink blush. It's one of their classic blushes. And I guess I'll apply this with this Wet n Wild angled brush. But yeah, I really like this blush. It's just a light rosy pink. 
and it does have a satin finish so it kind of has like a built-in highlight so it's kind of a nice blush on days when you're in a hurry and you don't really have time to do a highlight because it just kind of has like a highlight built in like I don't know I might not even do a highlight today it's like I didn't realize how like highlighted this blush actually was I feel like I probably just went like ham on that blush <laughs> I'm gonna be super blushed up today okay I mean I do feel like with my hair being darker I do need to add just a little bit more color to my face so I don't look too washed out okay I think I'm debating on if I want to skip a highlight or not but I think I'm gonna actually skip a highlight today because that blush looks really beautiful just as my highlight and then I am gonna go ahead and like finish out like my eye makeup mist my face and then I'll do my mascara and then do my lips so to finish off my eyes I'm gonna go back to the Sahara palette and I'm going to blend some of, I think, Sierra, that color there, on my lower lash line. It's going to kind of add a slight, like, pop of color. Though, I feel like once you get it on, it looks more kind of just like a warm brown. I'm kind of smoke the edge of my eyeshadow out I actually really like the way this eyeshadow turned out today it's really pretty especially with my hair being darker that's a one good thing about having darker hair I feel like I can get away with not that I couldn't get away with darker smokier looks when I had lighter colored hair but sometimes when you have lighter colored hair it can be like look a little too dramatic you know where I feel like with darker hair you can get away with it more with it not necessarily being wearable but it just doesn't look as harsh I guess I'm just gonna kinda blend out the edges of that I'm gonna go ahead and mist my face and I'm sorry I feel like I'm looking in the viewfinder a lot but it's like just trying to get used to seeing my hair darker um, I'm just gonna mist my face I think I'm going to use something different today. I might use this Flower Beauty setting spray. This is just the Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. There we go. It's like I forgot how fine of a mist this thing had. And a lot of times if I haven't used a setting spray in a while, I'll like just shoot it, like spray it a few times because sometimes it's like, I guess it kind of settles and whenever you go to spray it, it can kind of just not spray as even like the first few sprays. So that's kind of my little trick, trick with setting sprays I haven't used in a minute. I just totally noticed that you all can see all my crap back there on the floor some Christmas gifts some boxes from like PR stuff but I went ahead and put my clothes on and for my mascara I just used my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara I don't even see it here it is I just use this on my lashes and then I just did a little bit of liner on my upper lash line my physician's formula eye booster pen in deep brown and I didn't do a wing like I just did a, a little line to bring a little bit of darkness to the lash line so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips and I'm going to line my lips with this NYX matte suede lip liner in sandstorm so I'm just gonna do that first And then for my lips, I'm going to use this Maybelline lipstick in Maple Kiss. I definitely feel like this lipstick pairs really nice with that eyeshadow palette. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> If you do enjoy these types of videos, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, 
Let me know down in the comments what videos you would like to see from me. Make sure you click the bell to turn on notifications so you will know as soon as I post a new video, especially now since I don't have a set video schedule anymore. I hope that you guys have a, that you're having a great holiday season, that you had a happy Thanksgiving and enjoyed it with your friends and family. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.